I'm good. So I had a guest on yesterday. She was saying that she had sex for money, but she's not a prostitute. I just want to know your definition of being a prostitute. <laughs> oh, to each his own or starters to each his own but I'm guessing a prostitute is somebody who has sex for money like that's, that's what I thought though soliciting right like yeah I mean, I don't understand why you got to be shamed for being what you is, though. Who? Like, I said, I don't understand why you got to be ashamed of what you is, though. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I mean, I don't know. Some, maybe some females, they just... you ashamed of doing something, don't do it. Right. But at the end of the day, some people mindset is they got to get it how they live. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. That's, the, that's the stupidest shit that ever happened in the black community. You gotta get it how you live, and if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Right, right. Motherfucker selling it, they sold for money, ain't it? Teach his own, though. Teach his own. Okay, we're gonna get to it. Let's get, let's get to it. All right, you feel like closure is necessary in a relationship? You said what? Do you feel like closure is necessary in a relationship? Um, <laughs> no. Not really, because once I don't learn my lesson, that's it. Oh, okay. So you say you going to close the chapter? I'm choosing me over anything. Definitely. Okay, okay. I know that's right. You say you about to close the chapter in your life. Okay, what's it the difference? all. When it's time to move, it's time to move. How old are you? I am 25. 25? Okay, okay. That's perfect. You got some. Okay. What's the disadvantages of dating you? Um, speaking for me, it's really no disadvantages. And my man is actually in here. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I'm a vibe, you know. You say you're a vibe? Yeah, you're going to love it here. Okay, okay. One of a kind. Why well, you ain't married yet, then? You married? I uh, know, I'm not married. Not Russian marriage. Okay. And for me, it feels like it's just a, you know, title. Are you a feminist? Yeah. Why are you? How are you a feminist? What made you become a feminist? <sighs> what made me become a feminist? Um. Ooh. I can't even put it into words. Take your time with it. Take your time with it. We come back to it then. Yeah. Let's. let's are you? Are you misandrous? Huh? Are you a misandrious? Say that again. A misandrious. You know what a misandrious is? What it is? That's a woman who hates men. Oh, women no. Who, I don't hate men. men. All men are not the same. Okay. All men are not created equal? I know that's right. right. Okay. 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 Say it. Say it. Say it. What, what makes someone very attractive to you? Um, see, I'm spiritual. So, I got to connect with you on a spiritual level. Definitely. Money, yeah. that don't impress me. Cars, none of that stuff impresses me at all. So, what know. about good dick? Do that impress you? No, it really don't. Like, I'm going to need you to be able to feed my mind and everything else. Feed your mind and feed your ribs. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Keep, keep the camera still for me as possible. Best still as possible for me. Okay, okay. You the spiritual wouldn't be the biggest hole. I ain't saying you is, but I'm saying you the spiritual wouldn't be the biggest hole. No, 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 no. What makes you say they, that? Like they're, they're, they're called spiritual sluts. No, not you. But I'm just saying in general. I'm just speaking. Have you ever dated a female that was spiritual? Uh, not that I know of. So how you know? It was they were spiritually insane. That's what the hell they was. It was spiritually fucking uh, psycho. Uh, what's something everyone um, needs to hear? Um, that you are enough. You enough? Okay, okay. Uh, huh? Okay. What what makes a man instantly unattractive for you? Pulling out money, like that's gonna move me. Mm. 
Right, right, right. Well, how you feel about guys flexing on the ground and now they put the money with words on the ground? Do you follow guys like that on social media? I do, but see each his own. Like, we living in a generation, like, many of us are so lost. Why you follow guys on social media if you said that's a turn off? Who do that? Like, Who's put money, put words with the money. We living in a society where we really don't you know think for ourselves really don't know how to be ourselves you know so you just never know who is who so i mean one thing about me when you come across me we keep it real over here authentic so yeah you, i mean if you if you keep it real you ain't gotta say you keep it real it just it is just ooze out through you it is show yeah you definitely will well uh, just think, you know how, how you feel about that social media flexes though how, how you feel about that though Nobody should know how much money you got. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Oh. So, how you how you feel about the females like twerking on social media? You know, for uh, clout or whatever. You know, they bend it over, taking pictures like clout chasers. You follow them females on social media? Are you I friends do. with those people? But to each his own. Once again, we living in a society where everyone is the same a lot of people can't think for themselves just because they see for instance sexy red doing it they gonna do it like <laughs> you know what i mean like city girls yeah like i mm -mm. they fell off the map the city girls they they, they 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 country girls now so ain't nobody thinking about them uh, oh okay okay cool yeah, sexy red is an oxymoron. I don't see the sex, but okay. Who you feel like the more a woman talks about her ex boyfriend, the more she, the more a guy should avoid him? Repeat that. You feel like the more a woman talks about her ex boyfriend, the more a guy should avoid her? Definitely, cause she most definitely got some feelings still there. Definitely. You feel like finding the right man start with identifying the wrong man definitely yes mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. do you feel like uh a body language is important like a woman body language is important if she's interested in the guy yes it's very important you, do you speak with your body language i do Okay. You feel like fat people are lazy and disgusting? Who am I to judge? Oh. But that's another thing. I'm glad you said that. I mean, I've been mean, asking everybody this. Like, how, how you feel about this? Because this is what I think about judging. When somebody say they don't judge, they're saying I don't want to be held responsible, accountable for my actions. So I just want to do whatever I want to do, and I don't want nobody to say anything about it. And if they say anything about it, uh, you know, I feel like they 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 throwing stones at me. But I'm allowed to do whatever I want to do without any consequences or repercussions. Um. Part of me agree with that, part of me don't. But I was just like, yeah, I don't judge. So what is but judging? if I do judge, prepare for someone to judge me. You get what I'm saying? So what is judging this? I don't even know how to put it in words. How you don't know how to put it in words? You you just say if people judging, but you don't know what you think. So you just saying stuff everybody else saying? No. Uh, no. So what is judge? Mm -hmm. I would say judging is I don't know. Come back. Come back there. You come back, okay. What's the sad part about being strong? Um the saddest part about being strong is to me, speaking from existing, it's really not a sad part. Okay. How you feel about living with your parents, though? What's your thoughts on that right there? Especially it's, in the black community. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Rent is going up. Okay. See, that's in speaking for the black community, 
You see how the Migos stick together? I was just about to get to that, too. Go, Hello. Ahead. Go, ahead, pop, <laughs> go ahead and pop your shit. Go ahead. You Hello. Floor, you see they eat together. They work together. They take care of each other, okay? If us black people can get with that, we'll be all right. Well, my thing is, why in the black community, the mom or the daddy trying to kick the mama trying to kick the daughter out, and the daddy trying to kick the son out, or the stepson out, or the mama is trying to kick the daughter out? Why is that going on in the community instead of the white community and the Asian community, all in the other communities? Why is that? I feel as though, see, back in the day, it was a whole lot different um, from my parents. Um, basically, we haven't been taught, like you know. That for some of us, I would say, we haven't been taught, like, you know, that it's okay for our kids to, like, still live with us, you know? Like, it's it's just harder for us as a whole. So you got some parents that provoke their kids, you know, and talk to their kids, you know, and not even have something to talk to them. Is always dealing with their insecurities that they had as a kid, you know what I'm saying, and they project that onto their kids. Definitely. I mean, every every other race know we need to stick. Every, every other race know they need each other. The black community is the greatest fight amongst them. Right. Why is that? Society. Mm, crabs in the bucket. Definitely. Got to think outside that box. Is it jealousy, competition, comparison, covetousness? Definitely. Mm. What, what's your opinion on siblings? Say that again. I said, what's your opinion on siblings? Um. Really? I really don't have an opinion on siblings. Okay. Okay, but like I seen a video of a nine year old in the club and a girl was twerking on. What, what's your thoughts on that, right though? Society. I blame society and the music videos and stuff. Like, like I said, like if these these kids look up to these rappers and stuff like that nowadays. So when they see them doing it, they gonna want to do it. Like, no. I don't approve that. Mm. Nine years old in the club. Nine years old in the club shaking ass. I would show it on the I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want my shit taken down. But, <laughs> like, where he was showing shit on there, twerking on the club. The girl was twerking on him in the club. It was, it was disgusting. This was more worse than I seen Kodak Black grab his mama ass. Do you remember that shit? Uh, um, I didn't actually see it, but I saw it, you know, trending or whatever. I didn't pay attention to it. How do you feel about that? A grown man grabbing his mom ass. I ain't right about that. And women still feel like Kodak Black. It's like, it's not the wind blew. It's almost like the wind blew. It's about to rain. Okay. What's some rich shit you do even though you're not rich? You do even though you're not rich? Gotta eat though. You gotta eat to live though. I'm saying like I'm gonna eat these, you know, a good old lobster steak. That's that's some rich stuff to me. Man, you eating like a kingpin. Mm -hmm. My name is thing. You eat that every day, five days a week, seven days a week. Not five days a week, but every time I get paid, at least I'm gonna get me a lobster or a steak or something. Some seafood. I will reward yourself. You can't take it with you if you die. Hello. I ain't never seen nobody with a U-Haul truck at the hearse at the same time. Right. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never seen it though. Okay. Grab the lobster. Shit. You eat like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I got two more. I got two more. Okay. Okay, if your ex ex you out, what's your third emotion? You know better than that. Emotion. Um... What emoji can I use? Like the side eye. 
Matter of fact, it won't even. No, the deuces. Take that baby. It's the deuces. But really, um, we. It ain't gonna be no response with no ex. <laughs> Why well, he still got your number though? Is it no, block list or blocked, cut, delete? Like I said, once I learned my lesson, that's it. Ain't no double backing over here you at all. You ain't spinning the block? No. See, that's what's wrong with y'all now. Spinning the block. Once you don't learn the lesson, why is you spinning the block? We only move forward. You don't move backwards. I know that's right. If you drive, if you driving and looking backwards, you gonna crash. Right. You keep looking in that rearview mirror while you drive. You bound to hit someone. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like tattoo women are promiscuous and impulsive in nature? True or false? False. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, man. I appreciate you coming on, though, man. You know, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. All right. Appreciate yeah, we out of here, man. Appreciate you. Peace. We out of here.